So, uh, what we are about to experience is kind of a very abstract reasoning kind of a thing. And would you help me out for this? You are going to be perfect, you are going to do a fantastic job, and you are going to get an experience that nobody else in this room can ever get in their entire lives from this point forward. So you are getting a special gift by helping me out on stage. So come on down. Everybody else can show you a lot of love. Perfect. Welcome to the stage. Hi there. My name's Johnny. What's your name? Kara. Kara? Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you, Kara. Step right over this way. Excellent. Okay. So hang out here for just a second. So uh, you are going to help me out with exploring two ideas. Okay. okay. The first is the idea that we are all a little bit mind readers of our own. Right? By using context, body language, tone of voice, that all can tell you that the other person is thinking a certain thing. Right? Mm -hmm. That is an idea called the theory of mind, that we are aware that other people have thoughts that are separate and different from our own. Okay. Okay? Now, that's going to involve you guys, the audience. Second, have you ever been walking up a flight of stairs and, you th and your brain tells you there's one more stair than there actually is, and you get this weird false step kind of experience, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So our brains tell us what reality is. We don't actually experience reality directly. That's a very subtle but important difference, right? So our brain builds a map of reality, and sometimes the map does not match reality, and that's where weird stuff starts happening, right? So you are going to experience that kind of thing. And the audience, you are going to get inside her head and see reality through her senses and see why this is amazing for her. All right? So for exploring this very crazy, pretty sophisticated idea, we are going to use a very sophisticated instrument. Hang on. A coat hanger. Very simple in its design, but a very elegant tool when we put it to you. Step over just a little bit, just like that. Perfect. All right. So have you ever used a coat hanger before? You're very familiar with how they work, right? Just hang something on it. Close your eyes and keep your eyes closed. Hold out your hands and check that out for a little bit. All right? Just really give it a good check now. Keep your eyes closed. and really examine what's in your hands. Are there any uh, gaps or any places where it could come open? No. No, it's, it's solid metal, yeah. right? It's really pretty delicate metal, but uh, what did I do to it? It feels like a square and not like a triangle anymore. Exactly. It feels like a square and not like a triangle anymore. Yeah. So open your eyes. See? Exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. What fascinates me is that your sense of touch could tell you what it looks like, right? Mm -hmm. It seems very simple, but it's not. It's a very complicated experience that our brains synthesize all the information from our different senses to build a picture of reality. Now we're going to get to the fun stuff. All right? So step forward and face me just a little bit and hold your, your hands out from me just a little bit farther. Perfect. Just like that. Now, you feel my hands here, and I'm going to come down your arms and then just boop, just like that. Right? So your hands together just like so. Now, in just a minute, I'm going to ask you to, to close your eyes. But when I ask you to close your eyes, uh, your instincts are going to say, open them up at some times, right? But resist that instinct. You're in a safe place among friends, all right? <laughs> so <laughs> close your eyes. When I ask you to close your eyes, keep them closed until I specifically ask you to open them up, okay? If you can do that, you're going to have an amazing experience that nobody else can experience, all right? So close your eyes, all right? Come down here, boop, just like that. Now, with your eyes still closed, I need you to turn your hands up and grab my wrists with your hands. Yep, just like that. Now, grab on firmly and keep your eyes closed, right? And I'm going to come up here, grab the hanger from my neck, just like so, and then I'm going to bring it down and then tap your forearm with it, just like that, right? Now, in just a moment, it's going to be the weirdest thing. It's going to go through your arm. So keep your eyes closed. One, two, three, just like that. Open your eyes. Weird, right? Mm -hmm. Now, keep this hand tight. Try to take it off your arm. Is there any way that it can come off the arm? No. No. So that means that there's no way it should be on your arm, right? It passed right through your arm, didn't it? It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. So go ahead and, again, check it out, because I need you to make sure that it's completely solid. 
no hidden trap doors or assistance like that. Exactly, yeah. I love that. You're just hitting it, banging everything. All right, so you, you had control of me, but you didn't have control of the sophisticated equipment of the coat hanger. So this time, I'm going to give you control of the coat hanger. So with your right hand, you're going to hold it just like that in your fist. Yeah, perfect, just like that. This is a test run, right? And then I'm going to ask you to put your left hand on your right hand, just like so. And then I'm going to pull the coat hanger towards me away from your hand. So just let it go. And then as soon as you feel it, leave your fingertips, clasp your fingers together tightly, just like that. Yeah, so, so yep, trial run, just boop, perfect, perfect. So now there's a closed circle. There's no way that it can get into your arms just like that, right? Yep. All right, so right hand out, left hand out at your side, and you've got control of this. Perfect. So close your eyes. And no matter where it goes in space, you can feel where it goes, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So right hand up, just like so. Yep. Now I'm going to pull the coat hanger out. Just let it go. And then as soon as it's out, clasp your fingers. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. So you can feel the coat hanger right over here. You can feel it right over here. Now it's the weirdest thing. It's going to go right through your arm. One, two, three. Perfect. Open your eyes. Isn't that the weirdest thing ever? It's it very, strange. It's very sh strange. That should not happen, right? It, there's no way that it can come out, right? right. It's bizarre. Totally. So you guys can see how the map is not matching reality, and it's the weirdest thing ever. So this is the last part, and it's the, it's the neatest part ever. So right hand on your head. Excellent. Just like that. And turn to face the audience just a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now there's no way for this to get on your arm unless you were to raise your hand. So don't lift your hand at all. Press tightly and make sure there's no way I can just like sneak in there, right? Because you've got solid flesh and bone, flesh and bone, and then face, right? <laughs> so now close your eyes and you are going to feel the coat hanger kind of tap your arm, right? So it's going to tap your arm here, here, and there. Hmm. Very strange, right? Yeah, yeah perfect. So. Keep your hand there. Don't move. Don't move your hand. But check it out. There's, it's, it's on there, right? Yep. And now it can go up and around over your head, but mm -hmm. there's no way it can come through your neck yeah. or around your arm or anything crazy like that, right? <laughs> okay, so now close your eyes. Okay. You're going to come around behind you and extend your left arm out just like that. Yeah, perfect. Just like so. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is to please uh, do like a little I'm a little teapot where your left hand is on your left shoulder, uh, on your hip. Yeah, there we go. That's the right body part. OK, so we are going to try to make this hanger pass solidly through your neck, through your shoulder, and hand. <laughs> Weird, right? Open your eyes. <laughs> Very strange, isn't it? The, I know, it's, she's laughing in your delight, OK? so. Thank you so much for your help. Amazing, right? There you go. That is yours to keep. I don't want to touch it. That's the devil's work. Yeah, show her a lot of love, everybody. Outstanding. That's fun, right? Yeah, they, you guys will never be able to experience that ever again. It's, it's the neatest thing. So the theory of mind comes in for you guys being able to understand why it's amazing to you and for you, understand that when you experience incredible things that defy explanation, understand that all of us have psychological blind spots that magicians, frauds, and hucksters can leverage to do incredible things that seem to be impossible, right? So if you have an incredible experience like that, understand that your map may not directly line up with reality. Make sense? All right, so thank you very much for playing with your mind a little bit. Okay.